Hey, what is going on world? I go by Aaron Raglan. I'm an actor, songwriter from the Chicago area. If you haven't been tuning in, I just got cast in a YouTube series called Desperate. Watch out for the link that I will share with you guys later. Today, I'm teaching you guys how to get an agent for TV or film. First thing you wanna do is get a really good headshot. Once you get your headshot, it should look like this. To get your start, even though this is TV and film, agents will still really like to see theater. As far as TV and film, if you're looking at Actors Access, that is very good for looking at local colleges, the community colleges that are looking to do some short films. Even on Craigslist in your city, you know, there are a bunch of different short films, if not independent feature films that they're doing. Once you get a hold of the copy of the student film, you could start to make a reel for yourself. Even with getting the actual experience, agents are also looking for training. And being back in Chicago, there's the Green Room Studio, the Black Box Acting Studio, Chicago Acting Studio, Acting Studio Chicago. Or if you're not in this area, always look, look to enroll in a college course community college see if there are any nearby theaters that are you know doing classes or studios in your area in one of my last videos i was teaching you guys how to get a role as an extra in tv or film as far as that experience that's not really what you want or what's going to attract an agent's attention since you have the training now you are all ready and set to start submitting to agents. You want to go to sagaftra.org. Once you go to sagaftra.org, you will be able to find local agents in your city. Once you find those agents, they should have a website link to them. Go to their website, look up their submission criteria. Now, some of you guys that may still be just tuning in, how exactly should the resume look? So now I'm going to show you what you should be putting on your resume. All right, guys. So this is my resume. The very first thing you put on your resume is your name. Because I have done a couple projects, I have SAG after eligible. I'll explain that in a different video. But all you need really is your name and your email address that you're going to put on your resume as i'm going down you may notice you have height your weight hair color your eye color vocal range if you are a singer then i'm starting to put down different categories as you may see going down the resume starting up i have my work in tv with each category that I'm putting down, the projects that I've done, I'm bolding the categories. From left to right, it's the actual TV show role that I was in. Then you have the director. Now, as I'm going to theater, left to right, I'm going the show. For example, Marvelous Marvelettes. My role, the male understudy. Then you have the actual theater, a black ensemble theater. Going down even more, I have film. Left to right, I'm doing the actual name of the film, Untitled Zombie Movie, doing my character. And then I'm doing the production company, Poussant Productions. I also have voiceover that goes below film. No, same thing, left to right, project, in my blood drive, character, black, Gen X. And then you have, in this case, the producer, Job Cerny. Below that, the important thing that I was mentioning, you have training. I've got my degree, Elmhurst College, bachelor's in theater, 08 to 2012. And then I'm saying what exactly I was doing underneath that. You have acting private acting lessons, voice, voice and movement, dance, improv, and I also have some other training. Below that, I have awards. Then I have special skills. I've played basketball, track and field, piano, and so on and so forth. With your resume, because some people may just be starting out, you might just have 
one category, just theater. Get a little bit of training, may not have awards so much yet, but I mean, you could also have some skills as well. Next, I'm going to show you my cover letter that I sent to my agent. Very first thing you want to do with a cover letter, you see my name, the street addresses right below that. Then you got the city, state, zip code, phone number, and then you have the email. Below that, you would put the date that you're writing the letter. You have the street address of the agency, city, state, and zip code of the agency. Once you start your letter, you want to say, Dear whoever the owner of the agency is. Starting your letter, the easiest thing to do is saying, you know, what I said right here, I'm writing to express my interest in being represented by such and such agency, in this case, Ambassador Talent. In the first paragraph, usually what you want to do is just say a little bit of why you're interested in that particular agency. So in this case, I said, I'm especially interested because of your excellent reputation as a full service agency. I've had the pleasure of working with some of your talents such as Aaron Barker and Brandon Butler. So for me in this case, I actually got to work with a couple uh, of my current agent's talent before being accepted by the agency. Next paragraph, you, you basically want to sell yourself. Just said prior to working with your talent, I played a wide variety of roles including Goldberg in The Birthday Party, Habu and Tracers, Horner in The Country Wife, nominated for uh, Black Theatre Alliance's Most Promising Act Award 2014. Later on, as you may be reading, I'm talking about my training, TV and, and my, my film technique. Not only is main objective TV and film and explaining that you're a very versatile actor and, and really, really advertising your skills is, is what you want to do. Finally, I close it out and say, with this letter, I'm attaching my headshot resume. Thanks so much for your consideration. Sincerely, and then your name. Once you master that cover letter, got your headshot, nice resume, your envelope, your instructions for that particular agency and how they want their submissions, you send that out and you should be good to go. With your headshot and resume, you see that it's nice and stapled, nice and neat. We're all about presentation if you want representation. Hope that was really helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below, like, put any additional comments, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. All right, peace.